I'm here now on the Tanzania stand with Peter Mwengo, Managing Director. Peter, it's lovely to see you again. Uh, can I just start by saying that as far as I can tell, your stand has got even bigger than last year. Is this the case? That's correct. We have, got big, we have grown bigger this year than last year. As you might have noticed, I think there is in quite a big turnout of Tanzanian companies taking part. Well, I know you Tanzania. had 52 last year taking part. Has that number increased this year? That has increased tremendously this year. We have 83 companies taking part on the main stand and in the other sub stands as well. So together we have 83 private companies taking part together with us. Brilliant. Well, it's clear to me that this show must work for you. Not only are you getting more and more sharers to come here for business, but also, I believe, this is your 19th consecutive uh, appearance here at World Travel Market. Absolutely. This is our 19th consecutive participation. And this is because we have seen World Travel Market being one of the best places to sell Tanzania. And that's why we have been coming every year here and expanding our participation each year, actually, as you can see this year. I'm very pleased to hear that. And I know for a fact that uh, the UK is one of your main source markets, along with uh, the US, France, Italy and Germany. Um, are there any special actions that you're taking outside of World Travel Market to try and make sure that you do as well as you can next year when certain economies are looking a little bit, a little bit shaky at the moment? Yes, of course. One is that we are networking with our suppliers to see what we can do together, to see to it that we are sustaining the, the, the already secured market, but also look for other sources as well. And besides the world travel market, we also go to other countries like uh, the ITB in Berlin, BIT in Milan, the MAP in France, and even in the Americas where we do participate in the New York Times show, and we are also showcasing Tanzania on CNN America, including ABC. And this year we are trying to look uh, the possibility of uh, promoting ourselves also on the uh, European and United Kingdom media, both the BBC, Euronews and the other uh, media within the, Fantastic. this kind of Lots of activity then. That's right. uh, I, I heard from Mr. Mr. Macker, your colleague last year, that he was forecasting that by the year 2012 you were hoping to hit £1 billion worth of uh, tourist term of revenue. Is that likely to still be the target? Are you confident you're going to make that? We are confident we're going to make it because of uh, the uh, strategies that we are undertaking, the promotional efforts, but also the events that are going to take place in Tanzania. For instance, next year we are going to host the African Diaspora Conference, which will attract the Africans who are in diaspora, to attract them as tourists as well as investors. And in two years' time also we'll be hosting the World Tourism Investment Summit in Tanzania. Fantastic, Peter. I think I'm going to recommend to Reid that we put you forward as a, case, a successful case study for the show because you're obviously having such a great time here and that doing be, so much good business. That would be wonderful because we started with a, a, a stand of 12 square meters and now we have over 300 square meters. Brilliant. I hope you have a great show and see you next year. Thank you very much.